I worked. <clears throat> okay. So today I'm gonna make I'm gonna get started on my other Christmas journal. Christmas journal number two. And I'm creating the cover right now. And I'm using a cereal box. So here's the box I'm using. Hey Rhonda, I'm doing what you want. Starting a journal from scratch, girl. Okay. So I'm going to be using this box that was given to me by my mother. And now I got to cut it up and make it into a cover. Let's see. Let's see. Gotta cut off the extra parts. <clears throat> I only want the core of this box. Let's see. Okay. I have this. Gotta cut this part off here. Okay. So this is gonna be my cover. I gotta make it a little shorter because the papers I'm gonna be putting in here are eight and a half by eleven, just folded in half. So let's see how big they need to be. Let me grab a page. Okay, so this is how big they need to be. And this book is just like barely big enough, which I guess is okay. So we want to make it a little bit longer because I like to add lace. <laughs> and so we'll make it about... There should be good. I should cover up the lace and everything. That's good. How big is this? Six. Two of those. I don't really measure anything. Just make sure it's going to fit in here. Yeah, it's going to fit. I usually make it a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Hello, Rosalie. How are you? That might be a little bit too long. Yeah, I'm going to cut off a little bit more. Let's see. I guess we'll just make it six. Yeah, we'll just make it six. Okay. So here's the start of the journal. Now I need to reinforce it so it's not so flimsy. And I'm going to do that using this Priority Express Mail envelope. And I'm just going to cut a sliver of it so it covers just the spine. Because that's really what I want to protect. Just the spine. Ooh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Gladys. It's been a while, girl. How you been? Okay. And I'm just going to roughly do this with my scissors. <laughs> this really won't fit in my paper guillotine. It's too flimsy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my sneezes are... They're pretty epic, you guys. <laughs> I sneeze pretty loudly. So watch out. Okay. So I'll go to the post office and I'll get these priority mail. But I'll only buy like... I mean, I, you don't buy them. You take them. So I try and be respectful. I only grab one or two at a time, you know. Because it's not free. But, you know, I'm a taxpayer. So I technically did pay for these. Don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> hey, 
Sam. Hi, Aaron. What up, dude? Okay, so let's take, let's glue this down. Let me get my glue. Okay. Just a new bottle of glue. So start this project with a new bottle of glue. Oh my god, how fancy is that? Hi, Lucia. Bon dia. <laughs> Bom dia. Let's see. I can read Portuguese better than I can speak it. That's for sure. Is this going to work? Come on, glue. What? Now, always ready. Well, it's not ready. Ugh. Why does it say always ready? And look how they start you with. Look how they make me look like a fool, you guys. <laughs> oh, they're making me look bad over here. Oh my god, and it's like, what the heck? Sorry, this bottle's safety measures are, like, real. Oh my god, how did that happen? Why would they do that? Oh my goodness. Okay, nobody was going to get into this bottle at the store. Whoosh! Okay. Here we go. So now we're going to glue this part onto just the spine of the journal. And I'm going to get this wet with glue and then I'm going to let it kind of get sticky. So that I don't have to sit there while it dries entirely. Okay, so we're just going to put this glue everywhere. Just everywhere. And then we're going to let it, we're going to set that aside and let it dry just a little bit, just so it gets tacky. And then we'll glue it down. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to prep the cardstock that I use on the outside and the inside of this journal. And I'm just going to be using plain cardstock today. Let's see. Yeah. Just plain craft cardstock. I'm going to use four sheets two for the inside, two for the outside, and two for the inside. So I have to kind of tape these together like this, or glue them because I ran out of double sided tape, <laughs> which would have been ideal. But here we go. And this is what makes my journals really thick and durable. And like, this is the last Christmas journal I made using this technique. And this is made out of a cereal box and it's pretty thick. If you guys haven't seen my YouTube video for this journal, go check it out on my YouTube. I'm going to try and have, like, new content for you guys every week, as well as these live videos. So I'm going to set this aside, let it get tacky. Now I'm going to glue this down. Just around the spine. And that's on the inside, by the way. That is on the inside. And I need this to, you got to smooth it out. And, because you don't want this to be lumpy. Okay, so let's see. Hi, Theo David. <laughs> uh, quanto essa cola é tão boa quanto falam? I didn't understand what you just said, Lucia. That glue is really good. How much? What? I didn't understand that part. 
I can't look up. I don't have Google Translate in front of me. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay, let's see. We're going to really try and like etch these edges out here. The folds. Got to get those really nice and smooth there. So I am scraping the edge here now with my bone folder. Trying to get the paper to like settle in the edge here. That's good. You gotta work. You gotta work this out here. These kinks get it straight. The glue or this envelope? Lucia. What are we talking about? The glue. Okay. So there we go. Now it's nice and smooth. There's no bubbles. Perfect. So now we're going to put this together. Just like that. Perfect. And let me put these two together before I do that so that it gets sticky. See, not too much so it doesn't spill out, but we want it to bond together pretty good. The glue. I really like this glue. I have seen a lot of people talk about it, actually. Um, a lot of people use this one. I just ran out of... Ugh, I ran out of this tacky glue. You see how it's like there's no more? So I had to pull out this one. I just had it in my stash. Okay. So we got these two. And we're going to cover... Oh, was I supposed to do it the other way? Was I? I think I was. Was I? Yes! My mistake. I was supposed to glue them the other way. Of course I would do that. Whoops! You see, mistakes happen. It's okay. Life goes on, you guys. Okay. So let me do it the right way. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be this way. Duh. This way. Yeah, this glue's pretty popular, this brand Eileen. It's like the standard out here. Everybody has this glue. Everybody uses it, actually. A lot of people do. It's just probably because it's like the most common glue we have. Okay. So I gotta let that get tacky again. This time I'm gonna help it along. This helps so that it doesn't dry while it's trying to adhere. Yeah, see, it's still wet. Gotta make it tacky. Okay. Here we go. Now we're gonna put those together. Nice and bonded. There we go. Okay, now. Careful with the glue, because I've gotten this glue on my covers. Ugh. It's the worst. Okay. So now... <laughs> We're going to cover the front of this and the back of this with cardstock. Let me get this sticky here before I do that. Yeah, it's better to let the water dry out of it before you adhere. So I'll lay it down, let it get sticky, and then... 
I'll adhere it, just like I do with my lace now. I learned that's the trick. Okay. <clears throat> so now I got this. I'm going to cover my journal in it. So I'm basically just going to um, glue it on top, really. Just center this line here and then just glue it down. There's really not much else to it. Oh, and I gotta let this glue here dry too also. So I gotta get glue all over this. Very important you get glue all over. I've learned it bubbles if you don't, it's not good. You don't want no bubbles. Okay. I have gone through so many glue bottles this year, it's like not even funny. They make a killing, these glue companies. <laughs> and you know, you could always make your own glue. My, I was helping my little, um, my friend with her kid, and I was, he's a little artsy kid, so I was trying to show him how to collage, but my friend was like, I don't have glue. I was like, how do you not have glue? So I just grabbed some flour and some water, and you have paper mache glue. <laughs> I was like, that's not going to stop me from crafting. Okay, so we got to let this get tacky. Gotta let the water dry out of it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put these two together. Ah! Okay. These two need to go together like that. Okay. Perfect. I've gotta make sure these are. There we go. Okay, so let's touch this and see if it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. So you want to line it up with the middle. There we go. That is pretty. Pretty centered here. And now with the bone edge, yeah, this is just uh, cardstock. Just cardstock. Um, I get mine from Michaels. Uh, it's 65 pound craft card stock. Eight and a half by 11, just regular card stock. Okay, and so now we're going to, um, we need to do this with the edges. We need to start carving out, we need to start carving out the edge so that it folds correctly. So I just tend to carve it out. Just so the folding doesn't break the paper on the edges. Just like that, and then this one. Okay, so I got to trim away some of this paper because it is a little too much paper. I want to have almost the same with the paper all around. This might get hard to do. Oh. 
gonna have to do that by hand. It is too big for this paper cutter. Okay. Oops. Paper got cut again. Stay over here, paper. Or over here. Okay. So now I need to also cut off these corners right here. Like that. Like that. Cutting off all the corners. So now we have it looking like this. And now we're going to start folding over the paper. Now this box is pretty flimsy, so it's like folding along with me. I think it's because the glue might still be a little wet, but it's okay. We'll make it work. There we go. You just fold those edges in. Now this one. I'm kind of happy I'm on camera. This normally takes me a lot longer. <laughs> I get distracted. <laughs> okay. There we go. So now it's all folded. We got to glue that down. Oh, I forgot we didn't fold it yet. Oops. We got to fold it too. Make sure everything is okay here. Yeah. See how smooth that is? Nothing nothing cracks here. That's what we're looking for. That's the money shot right there, you guys. Okay. Flattening this out again. Perfect. Sometimes this breaks here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I only stick it to one side and I only care about the spine because that's what I'm going to be punching holes through. Um, this part kind of, this part gets reinforced just with the cardstock on both sides. So I don't really feel the need to put the Tyvek on the whole thing. That's just me. Yeah, this material right here is also called Tyvek. You can purchase it online um, in case you don't have a post office near you. Okay, so now we got to glue these edges down. And I got my glue. You gotta be really careful with this glue because I like my covers to be plain on the outside. And it's not really possible if it has a lot of glue marks. I'm telling you, this, this scrapbook coral is just all drama. <laughs> just drama everywhere, you guys. <laughs> okay. On both sides of the spine, I mean, I guess. I just. I don't feel the need to. It just it feels really thick with the cardstock. And I mean, I've punched holes. See this, Rosalie? I did this. I punched the holes. And I mean, this thing is solid and it only has Tyvek on one side. And I mean, it's solid. That thing is not coming apart. Okay, more glue down. I mean, gotta let this get tacky, like I said. I have my fan on, but I wish I had like a blow dryer or something to dry it out a little bit more and a little bit faster. Okay. Here, I have another glue mark. Okay. So we gotta let this dry here. Drying out. I'm just going like this, <laughs> off camera, so I don't make you guys dizzy there. Okay. Okay, so that should be enough dried out. So now we got to put these in. 
And I like to smooth everything out. Get all that extra glue gunk out. Here we go. Right here, we gotta edge them out, give them a little help there so that when we fold it, it doesn't struggle as much. Okay. You could probably get it even better, this fold right here. I made a little boo boo and it's not as folded as it should be. Wait! But that's okay. I try not to worry about everything too much. Okay, here we go, the last part. Now we could have made it a little tighter. Okay. Hey, Jenny. How are you, girl? Hi, Robin. Thank you guys for watching. Just putting this journal together here. It's a labor of love, you know? Labor of love here. What up, Tori? Nice to see you. And RJ, I saw Mr. RJ walk in here. Okay, there we go. So, so far I have cut out, this is just a cereal box, you guys. I had to cut out the extra parts outside, then I glued this Priority Express in there, then I had two pieces of cardstock I put together and binded the outside with it, and folded the edges in. Now, I need to make this part of it here, that just goes over everything, and let's see, I need a pen. I'm going to mark where everything is going to be. I like, I try to get it centered. That one didn't really work that much. I don't know why. Here we go, though. It's okay. All right. So that should be good for right now. Let's see what we're going to do with this piece of paper here. Thank you, Robin. I really have fun making these. Like... Honestly, watching you guys make everything too is just so inspiring. It really makes you want to get up and make something, you know what I mean? Like, get up and do something, Daisy. <laughs> okay, so it needs to be from here to here. I don't know if this will work. It's not going to work! How did I do this before? I don't know how I did this before. You get to see my mistakes, too, here in this process. Let's see. How did I cut this straight before? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let me make a line here. This could go really badly, but we'll see. I'm going to try my best and make this straight. Trying. Okay, let's see if I can make sure that's right before I cut it. <laughs> it's too big for that. that cutter. Make sure it's where I want this. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, that looks good. Now, since I did make a little bit of boo-boo, but... It's okay, it's fixable. I'll show you guys what I did. That is a mistake here. So what I did wrong was I left too much space here. So it's not gonna it's not a nice clean edge. So all I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go to Michael's um, and buy those corner, you know those metal corners. And then you won't even be able to tell. It'll be like it never happened. All right, so this is good. Now I am going to score around that so that this folds smoothly. 
And I'm going to use this right here. This tool, I'm sure everybody knows about this tool. So we're just going to fold down just so we don't have any problems when we do fold it on the book. Okay. And this one right here. I hope that's close enough. Oop. That one went crooked. Why did it go crooked? I need to buy a new one of these boards. I used to use it with a knife. And I think I made some of the lines crooked. <laughs> yeah, you see that? I used to use it with a knife. <laughs> don't use it with a knife, you guys. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Hello, Julie. Okay, so now we have this right here. So now we are... Yeah, they didn't help there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hello, Gail. How many of you are making a journal? Ah, ha, 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 ha. I hope everybody. This, this stuff is addicting. I'm, I, I'm telling you. These journals are just so, like, I finish one and I'm just like, all right, what do I do with the next one? It's awesome. Okay, gotta get glue everywhere here. Glue everywhere. Let's see. I really like to put my glue down in, in crosshatch. <laughs> I feel like it, it would cover more surface that way if I do it in crosshatch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, now we gotta let it get tacky like my wardrobe. All right, let's see here. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so letting this glue get tacky here. Let it get tacky so we can stick it down. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I like things plain. So I like to feel like I could like step into Michael's and buy this right off the shelf like as their plain plain stock journals. You know how they have those like paper mache things that you can fix up? I like things a little plainer. Okay. So now that this is tacky like me, let's glue this down. See here. Okay. Glue this down where the spine is supposed to go. Okay. There we go. I gotta smooth this out here. Probably a lot neater with the books that I make that I don't do online. <laughs> I'm not afraid to scratch the cardboard because or the cardstock because it'll bounce back. And it's the spine, so nobody can really tell. But I really gotta get the glue to settle in the right creases here. Gotta really get it in there so it stays in position. And so it doesn't move around when I try and fold it now. I think I need a, what do they call those things, a bayer? I need one of those. Yeah, I'm really getting in there. Hey, Victoria girl, what are, what's up? It's one of my old co-workers. <laughs> what up, girl? Just making stuff. Like usual. Oh, it's bubbling up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That does happen. Just 
just gotta flatten it out. Maybe that just happens in my journals. Smooth, 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 smooth this is. Now, there we go. This paper is used to being straight, so you gotta get it used to being folded. Sometimes it doesn't want to. Sometimes you didn't put enough glue. So you have to like force it into position. Okay. We got her done, you guys. We got her done. Yes, Miss Reem is in Dubai. Isn't that cool? That's like so cool. They have an indoor ski park. Tori, did you know? In Dubai. It's pretty epic. Okay. So now look. We got the journal done pretty fast. I don't know how long my thing's been live, but it didn't take that long. And now we got to figure out how we are going to... I like to punch the holes and then reinforce them with um, eyelets. So I have to figure out where my holes are going to go. I'm just going to do two signatures in this one. So I like to use graph paper to figure out where everything goes. Um, math is not my forte, but I can sure as hell count squares. Okay. So... Let's see how big the spine is from that little one. Let's see what's it on this side. This is how I figure out my spine situation. So we gotta cut this out. So it goes from there to here. Okay. And then it is. That's a whole square, yeah, to this one. Okay, so now I gotta cut this out. So now we have I have this. Now I know this is how big my spine is. And oop, one moment. Huh. I thought I was gonna sneeze. Okay. So I want two two signatures. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. So I'll probably do a, a two and a half and then two and a half. No, that's too far apart. We'll do this and yeah, that should be good enough. So two and two. That'll be my first, so that's going to be down the middle right here. This is what we're working with here. And I don't think I'm going to use those as my starting point, because I'm only going to use four. So let's see what we got to work with here. I'm just going to fold it in fourths. 
and it should tell me, yep, where to place my holes. But this is going to be, um, yeah, that's too low though. This has three, six, eight, nine, three, six, eight. Okay, well, that's fine. So it's going to be right, it should be an inch into it though. Okay, math people, you got this better than I do. So, three, six, three, six, let's see how that goes. Three, six, no, it's too many, it's gotta be like eight. Three, six, eight. Three, six, eight. Three, six, eight. Okay, so this is where we're going to put our signatures. Where the X's are. And basically, the, oh, the only way I got that is by going an inch, an inch from the top, and then, tr like, I just try to make even number of squares in between. <laughs> that's how I, that's my math. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to put, this is my spine. And that is where I am going to make the holes for my spine. And I'm going to do that by... I'm going to put some painter's tape to hold this down here. And around so it doesn't move. Okay, so now it's secured onto my spine, <clears throat> and I'm going to use my crocodile, and we're going to punch holes where the X's are, and so we got four X's we got to punch out, and I'm going to be using the smallest one, which is one eighth of an inch, Here you see the really tiny one, compared to the big one. Yep. So, let's do it. Okay. So we're doing three sixteenths of an inch. And, I'm sorry, one eighth of an inch. There's really no way I can show this to you guys. I wish there was. Okay. Just gotta punch it. Right in the middle. Okay. And there we have our first holes. Gotta cut that out a little bit. Okay. Almost done here. And then the last one. Now I punch the holes because the spine is really thick. And I have problems with my hands. I can't really sit there and try and make a hole when the spine is so thick. So I need my punch. I, I'm not going to sit there and struggle to make holes. 
it's just gonna hurt my hands you guys okay so now we got the holes punched in and I think I'm going to make this the top part right here so I know and front okay so now I'm gonna use these tiny little eyelets to um, reinforce those holes um, this is called Cropodile 2. Cropodile 2. And I don't know. I, I know there's an orange one out there. I just, I got this like probably a year ago now. I think that's the one they have out in stores right now. They have it at Michael's. I know that. But when I bought it, they didn't have it at Michael's. Okay, so now we got to pop these into all these holes and reinforce them. And if you have any sort of nails, this is not the funnest part. <laughs> Just going to put those all in there so I can set them all at the same time. Otherwise, I'll stay here forever doing one at a time. Get in there. Oh my god. Hello, mother. <laughs> now my mom is watching. <laughs> That's a fun party. Okay. Let's see. Ugh, take off that little bit. Ugh. Sometimes. It's, they're so tiny, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. <laughs> I still have this on there. Take that off. Yeah, you don't want to attach. <laughs> you don't want to attach this to your spine. <laughs> your Michaels doesn't carry? Yeah, uh, Amazon. Yeah, I ordered. I actually did order mine online. Hello, Marina. What up, girl? Okay. Gotta do that. <laughs> That's my mother, Rosario. <laughs> She's watching me, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Gotta get. Hello, Marina. I'm so happy to see you and all your cool stuff. Girl, your Halloween makeup was scary. Scary and, like, scary good. I loved it. I loved looking. And your daughter looked beautiful. Okay. So now, we gotta punch the eyelets down. Ugh. Here we go. Yeah, it's working. It's working! Sorry if you guys have to look at my hairy arm. <laughs> Let's see here. It's kind of hard to do any other way. Oh, you're going to post a video? What? That was your little sister. You guys look so alike. Like, honestly, you guys look so alike. I mean, I didn't think you could have a daughter that, that you know, old. But you guys just look like twins. Here we go. Did I do all of them? Except this one. There we go. So now we have the eyelets in. And it looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good. Good enough. So, and then this also makes it easier for me to like try and pull the um 
try and pull the needle through also. Okay. So now I have to make holes in the paper and sew them in. So I have to get my signatures together. Which I was printing stuff out, but I guess now I'm done. <laughs> okay. Let's see all the stuff I have for this Christmas journal. And... So I have my Christmas journal papers that I'm going to be using, along with some, I'm going to get some other like random stuff to put in there. These are just coffee dyed papers. Make sure that these papers are not like duplicates or anything, because oh my god. Hi, Lori. Peeling potatoes. Well, I hope I make peeling potatoes a little bit more exciting. <laughs> I hope I don't distract you too much. <laughs> yeah, these... Oh, you guys, I had so much fun. I um, coffee dyed everything and then uh, ironed it and then printed it on top. It was great. I had a little bit of a grungy effect on this journal, and now it's like even grungier, which I am not complaining about at all. Okay, so we got these here. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We got these lined papers, some background papers. Okay. Okay, so let's start making these signatures now. I gotta start deciding what goes where. I'll just start by splitting these journal pages in half. I got one stash over here and one stash over here. So you guys can see this one's got two, now it's got three. And over here, over here, and over here. And now we're going to put one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. I don't think I have this journal page anywhere. I'll put that here. Okay, and we got this and this over here. And let me see how many pages that is already. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, have you ever coffee dyed a page you've already printed? Um, I believe it would. I believe the ink would run because, or I don't know. I think it would. I, I've seen I've seen it run in some people. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, this is the new Christmas list journal. <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> okay, so let's put some just regular coffee dyed paper. I think this is too many, too much coffee dyed paper. I want to print on the back of it actually, but I might just have to leave this in plain for now. Okay, so put a couple sheets of coffee dyed paper in each pile. Three, and one more. Okay. And now, yeah, see, I only use cheap ink. <laughs> so, for me, it would run. Uh, what else am I going to put in these journals? I want some tags. Yes, I have some coffee dyed tags I can put. And that one's probably not going to work. Um, let's see what else do I have. i got to go through my stash of stuff I have to see what I'm going to put down. I do want some tags. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I am going to use one of oh, this one even tag. Where did my tags go? Sorry you guys, I know. Trying to find my crazy big tags. And I don't see any and I don't know why. I should have them. 
Oh my god. This is drama. <laughs> Sorry you guys, I'm trying to find my M, my big tags and I don't see them and I I don't know why and I'm very scared right now. <laughs> I'm really scared. Oh my god. Um Oh, you know what? I know where they are. One moment. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I gotta get those tags. It's killing me. I can't make this journal without those tags. Okay, get it. Oh, think. Think the universe. I have them. Okay. <sighs> this is dying. I was dying. Um. Well, try it on one and see how it is with your ink. It might just depend on the ink that you're using for your printer. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. So one more. For this bunch. This one won't be coffee dyed. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> and then I want some envelopes. I will probably use, let's see, <clears throat> I need some envelopes, oh this is cute, alright, so we're going to use these two envelopes, and then I want, I want more envelopes, okay, so this is what we have so far, maybe a couple more pieces of stuff would be good, um, What would be good in here? <clears throat> oh, I have other papers. Where are some other papers? Ugh. I have everything and then it's not ready anymore. That's not gonna work. It's too small. Yeah, that's too small. To fit anywhere. Um what else should I use? Do I have envelopes? trying to figure out what I'm going to stuff these signatures with. What else do I have, you guys? Let's see. Does this work well in half? No, that would not work good in half. You got to make sure the stuff looks cute folded in half. Otherwise, it's not going to work. What else do I have? Oh, right. Forgot about this. Got this thing right here. Got these coin envelopes. A little tattered. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Now I'm taking it on. Uh, let me start assembling them. <clears throat> Gotta fold everything. Oh my goodness, the folding is fun, huh? Okay. Bone folder. Just gonna start folding everything in half. We'll do yeah, we'll do the decorative part on the outside of that. Just gonna lay them there. That one's already folded. Folding everything. That's the exciting part. <laughs> and I don't like to cut stuff up, so I tend to just not um, 
I just don't cut stuff out. I just make my journals big enough to fold the eight and a half by eleven and a half. I, I don't like to cut stuff up. Ugh, it makes me so lazy. This is, I printed them out, and my printer kind of just like, because after I, um, after I coffee dye them, my printer doesn't like, they're, they're flat, but my printer doesn't grab them like they're flat. It, I don't know, it just like grabs it and starts printing out, so you can see how, that one's way too off, so I'm not going to include that one. But most of them like this printed out just fine. I just don't know why it's so picky. My printer is just picky sometimes. Okay. Girl, that's scan and cut. Oh my god, it's a lifesaver, right? Like, I'm telling you, I don't know what exactly is wrong with my hands, but I get, my hands get into a lot of pain sometimes, and... I have to find shortcuts, otherwise I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> Next, I'm thinking about getting the Tim Holtz Vagabond, you know, um, for his, uh, it's like his die cut machine, basically. So that's what I'm thinking about getting next, because I want to cut more shapes out, but I feel like my hands hurt too much. And that's a shame. Oh, yeah, you get addicted, like I said, and get get some more blades because they will go fast, especially if you're cutting a lot. Like, I was cutting, you know, to stock my store up with these flowers, and I don't know if the machine is made for industrial usage. Like, I was trying to get, I don't think it's meant for industrial use, like me, like, <laughs> Yeah, the Vagabond, I think, is what I'm going to buy next. Just because, like I said, my hands and... Well, just because of my hands, point blank. <laughs> I have to get something easier. I'm, I'm going to get one. Because, I mean, I get my husband to <laughs> cut stuff for me. I'll, like, get everything ready and I'll have him cut everything for me. But, you know, sometimes he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so I have to make it work. Let's see here. Wait. And I'm using these printable envelopes from my shop. They are Christmas themed. I gotta get every Christmas theme I can get with this journal. Get it straight. Okay. Um. Tuesday morning. Yeah, these giant tags are from Tuesday morning. That's exactly where they're from. I'm sure they're from Michael's originally. But yeah, they. I bought them at Tuesday morning. I love these envelopes too. I just, I think they're so festive. And I just, the shape, it took me a while to get it. But once I did, I was like, oh, I'm so happy I did that. Because <laughs> I really love the shape of these envelopes. There we go. I think uh, they're the ranger tags, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to find the packaging. I don't know what I did with it now. My life, you guys, my life. I put something down, and it's gone. It's gone. Let's see. Yep, I really, just the shape of them, I'm telling you. Look at that. That's just adorable. So 
So we're going to put that in the signature. Here's this one. Now we got to do this Christmas one. Okay. Over one. There we go. I can't wait to see it, Marina. I, I, your work is like out of this world, honestly. You rock these journals, so you know how. Down the middle. Here we go. Okay. It's not like I don't have craft paper <laughs> to make them. It's just this like particular, because you see, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't matter entirely, but it is a little bit different. See, this is my craft paper, and this is their craft tags. They're not exactly the same color, and then these tags have like a little speckle that this craft doesn't. You see that little speckle it has? It's not the craziest difference, but there is a slight difference. Just a slight difference. Okay. So now we get to fold the rest of the stuff here. Let's fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. So we gotta fold these. I mean, I wanna put some other stuff. I feel like it's all just paper. Gotta go find something else to put in here. This. To print it backwards, upside down. Oh well. Okay. Let's see what we do. The pattern on the inside. And I'm just alternating whether the pattern shows on the outside or the inside. When I fold them, that's about it. Just so it doesn't get too boring. Let's see, what else am I going to put in this journal? Oh yeah, some ephemera maybe. I have giant ephemera I could put in here. Yeah, that'll be cute. That'll be plain, but it's okay. Hey, this is supposed to be pattern on the inside. Okay. Pattern on the inside. Okay. So I decided I'm going to add some of my giant ephemera pieces. Oh. I found the tag. It's by it's by Ranger. You never thought I have to get it halfway and straight or I get like annoying about it. This is the only way I can get it, you know, straight here too. So I don't fold it crooked. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of these giant ephemera pieces in there too. That's what I'm thinking I want to do. I don't know if I have any that are folded in. Okay, giant. Maybe this. This would look cute. Maybe yeah, I'll fold. No, I don't know. Ugh. I wish I would have printed some out so that they fold in half. I'm going to do that. I'm going to print out some stuff. 
know what? Because I can. And I'm gonna. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm looking through my computer right now for the ephemera. I just want to print out some stuff that I can print out and fold in half. That would be ideal. Um, let's see. Take off the options. Okay, I'm about to print some stuff out. And I'm about to print on paper that I didn't iron flat, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, uh, no, I didn't. I, I should have. I, I should have, but I just cut them out. <clears throat> they were supposed to be just like background pieces, like I'll just glue it here. But of course right now I felt like it should have been more. Okay, let's try and get these signatures together if I can. Let's see how this goes. Whew. Okay, so... We are going to put this signature together. Got to make sure the, the pages alternate and it's not just too many like blank pages in there. This can go in there too. This and a couple of pieces of paper. Okay, so the mill I want to be this envelope. So that's my middle. And this one is good. This plain one is good too. Then we can put a tag. Tag. Okay. And then we'll put this envelope here. Wait, I don't know how that's going to go. Now that I think about it, how's that going to attach? Um, we are going to do this. This. And then we'll do this. And then... This right here, and then we'll do up this one. Yeah, I guess I should. I have another envelope, but I do want to show off these. All right, all right, you've convinced me. <laughs> my mind gets changed so many times, you guys. I get on my husband's nerves sometimes. All right, Marina. Thanks for watching, girl. I appreciate it. Put this one here. It's supposed to be backwards. It's okay. Life goes on. Um, we'll put that one. That one. Ooh, this is getting fat. It's okay. I mean, she's getting full figured. Okay, let's see. Another piece of paper here. This one. And then this one. Did I add two tags or just one? Did I add two tags? Just one! Let's start it off with this then. Okay, so. Now, I got these big old paper clips from uh, Ikea. And I am going to use those to hold this journal together. If I can. 
if I can hold it together, then I will get this journal together. Okay. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, this part is tough, you guys. Okay. Okay. So let's see if we can get this to go with it. Okay, slide down. And, okay, perfect. There we go. And now, this one down. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to get the other signature together. Aren't they cool? They're like giant, you guys. And it was like four of them for four bucks. But I mean, look how big they are. They're like perfect to help me secure these things while I make the holes and stuff. Okay. So now... Oh, there's my ephemera. Yeah, you see how like it just... Oh my god, it just like jacks it up. But that's okay. It's a junk journal. Okay, I gotta print one more out. I forgot about the other one. Let's see, we'll print. What should we print out? Let's see. We are gonna print out. I already got into that set. We're gonna print out. What are we gonna print out? What are we gonna print out? Nope, I don't like any of those. Oh, psh. I'm making, I, I may, I'm letting things slide with this book <laughs> because I can't get everything exactly perfect. So I'll probably just give this one away instead of trying to sell it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's print. We'll print that. That looks cute. Okay. So now we got this. I'm going to fold this one in half. Where's my bone folder? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know where my bone folder is right now. So I'm just going to use a pencil. Okay. So, let's get this together. Um, in the middle is going to be the envelope. And then we're going to do, we'll do this right here, then this one, then we'll do a little page, and we're going to do a tag up here, then we're going to do this ephemera. Then this claim page, writing page, what else, claim paper, and I know I have another piece of, ah, here we go, this is there. I have this piece of coffee dyed. Map. Oh, but it's already got holes in it. Gosh darn it. That's where I'm from, you guys. From Ventura County. Right there. Okay. Let's see. I can't... Why can't I do what I want? Um, let's see. I need to find a big piece of paper. It's not already cut up. You guys, the struggle is real. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm just gonna move on. I can't live my life like this, you guys. It's too stressful. Yup, 805. I am 805 for life. Okay. So we're gonna put some. What do we put there? Oh, let's put another tag. 
we'll put that here. And then, you know what, why not? Let's put this piece of blue paper. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it somewhere in between something so it doesn't look too plain. There we go. And then some pattern paper. And then to that. And then we'll put this green paper there. Perfect. This, oh wait, I'm gonna put this. This would be cute right here. In contrast with that. And we'll put this one. And I think we'll call it a day with this. Okay. <clears throat> so there's my two fat signatures. It's probably too many pages, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I will attempt to do it. Gonna make sure everything is where I want it to be. Okay. Now we're going to just put these here. Okay, perfect. Now the other side. Okay. So now we have this side too. Perfect. So now we have these two signatures. Hey, primo. Okay, so I have this right here. Perfect. So I got my two signatures, and they are ready to be hole punched and put into our cover that we made earlier. And so we got these four holes we got to match up when we make our book. Okay, so... Excuse me. Make sure that this is the right size. Yeah, it should just be eight and a half by eleven. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this in half. So now we have to make the holes into our signatures. So this is the top. So now let's see. Ah, oh, where are these holes gonna go? Perfect. Okay. All right, so now I need to get my hole poker thing. I need to get a new tool, by the way. What, what do you guys use to poke holes into? I use this thing. It's half of this. Half of this tool. Bye, Gail. Thank you for watching. It's half of this tool. It's called the tool in one. And I use this part. You can detach it. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. This goes into here. And, well gotta be like this. This goes here in the middle. And now I know where I'm going to score my dots. And let's see if I can't get it in the middle here. There we go. So it doesn't move so much. Gotta get it in the spine. Okay. So now... I need a phone book. So this is my phone book. 
and let's punch the holes in. You want to use it kind of like at an angle. And I'm just going to punch through to where I see the hole. There we go. Just like that. Get it in all the way through. Okay. And now we'll do the other one. Perfect. And now we're going to punch the holes here too. To make sure it goes all the way in. All the way in. All the way in. Wait! <laughs> That's why I need a new tool, you guys. <laughs> I am in the search for a new pokey tool. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So now I slide this out. Gotta keep it in place. Perfect, and now we get to sew in the signatures. And, um, 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 we need thread, and we need some needles. So here are my needles. Where is my thread? Where is that thread? I had this like specific, Red I was using for this project. Ah, ah. And now, good luck trying to find it. Oh my goodness, where did it go? I guess I never took it out. That would have been good to do, Daisy. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm trying to figure out this binding situation now that I don't have that thread. Uh, what do I do have? Where did it go though? I just had it. I just used it the other day. Like literally, I just used it. Where could it have gone? Sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is real life, you know? Things don't always go the way you want in real life. Darn Christmassy too, like it was perfect for this product. Um but now it's not so good. <clears throat> ah, I found it. Yay! Oh my god, yes. Okay. Okay, so I found my thread. Oh thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so I'm going to be using this thread to bind it, and then these are, it says repair needles. And I like to use probably this one right there. I like to double thread. I like to use two threads because I'm weird like that. I just think it looks cute on the outside with two threads instead of just one, since this one's on the outside. So, um, you want to get a lot of thread. It's supposed to be two, three times. Yeah, about three times, maybe even a little bit more. The size of your 
book. Okay, so let's get this done here. Now I'm going to use this bigger one, actually. No? Am I? I always have trouble deciding which one to use, and then I feel like I use the wrong one. I guess I'll use it. We'll see how good that goes. Okay. So now the needle gets threaded. There we go. Okay. So this one's got a big old hole, so it just it wasn't even a big deal to get the needle through. Okay, so we are going to start sewing the signature on to the spine. And let me just make sure that these line up here. So that this is the top and this is the bottom. Yeah, okay. So we are, I have a little... <laughs> I forgot how to do it, so I have a little <laughs> thing to tell me how to do it. Uh, we are going to go into, oops, from the outside of the book, the second hole. We're going to go in, and we're going to go through that second hole outside. Whoosh. Now, this isn't the easiest part, and I think I grabbed the wrong needle for it. Because you see how it's curved? It, like, wants to go in through the first piece of paper and then go up. So I don't want it to be curved. So maybe I'll use the big one. I don't know. We'll see if this works. It's all trial and error here. I don't know, really. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I slightly know what I'm doing. Okay. So into, <clears throat> into the second hole here. Into the hole. Oh my god, you guys. I swear this is always easier off camera. Okay, there we go. This is probably too big of a needle, but it makes it easier for me, so. Okay. Oh, wait, we were supposed to do it from the outside. Okay, from the inside out, through the second hole, <laughs> we're going to go here. In. Yeah, because the tail needs to be sticking inside. Come on. Come on. And did I pick the wrong needle again? Yeah, I did. Oh, my God, you guys. This is when editing videos saves me from looking like this. I can't look up at the screen, so I can't see if you guys are saying anything. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep trying. <laughs> just going to keep going. I'm going to get this. I will get this right. Come on. Oh, these are starting to fray on me now. Don't fray on me. Here we go. Maybe this one's one at a time. Okay. Sorry about that text message. Let's see here. So the second one goes in. Okay. Okay, this time I'm going to get it right. Trust me, guys. Okay. Okay, and we're in. Okay, so we are going to start with the second hole. And we're going to go outside. Okay, there we go. And now we are going to leave a tail on the inside. And now we are going to go to the second hole up here. I'm sorry, the first hole. Now that we're inside the envelope. <laughs> Let 
Oh my goodness. Stuff, you guys. Stuff. The needle butt, as I'm going to call it, or the eye is really thick with thread. Which is probably why people don't do two threads, but I gotta be difficult. Okay. So, gotta make sure that's gonna be tight, not loose. And now we are going to go to the last hole. Which is down here. And out the last one. Okay. And then, gotta make sure that's tight. And then we're gonna go into, make sure that's tight. Then we're gonna go from the outside into this hole. And this really, it just gets easier with time. <laughs> Doing this. Uh, I got get in there. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to try again. <laughs> I don't know what is supposed to make this easier to do. Well, you gotta give it up to those junk journalers. Okay. <sighs> I am still new at this. <laughs> so please bear with me. Okay. Just gotta get this last one done, man. Just gotta get this last one. Where is the hole? It should be there. There's the hole. I'm going in. But it keeps coming out through some other... Ow! 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 Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Since this is already tight enough, I am going to take this off. And then... That should help me in finding why this isn't working. Okay. Put it in through this hole. And now we can see where the needle is going. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Got it. That only took like an hour to do. Now you want to pull it tight. way too much string. <laughs> tight one way. And then we gotta hold it tight the other way. That's not very tight. That's okay. Alright, so now we're done with that. <laughs> And I mean, it's just like that, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Reem. Okay. Okay, that only took an hour to do. Sorry about that, you guys. I got a phone call. Um, so there we go. We got that done. Now we can put this together here. And it'll be our part in the middle. Then we got... Sorry, my husband must not know that I'm going live right now. So let's see here. And now we're going to do the other signature. And I'm going to call that a day for this video. Whew, you guys. That was some work to try and get that done. Okay. So now we're going to get this signature done. And hopefully this one goes a lot smoother. I'm not going to need that much thread because I use... Sorry, you guys. I hope he sees this and he sees that I, I didn't send him a text message. So I probably should have. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we'll just say that's enough. It's always better to have too much than not enough. 
Okay. So here we go. I'm going to fold this thread in half and we're going to get it through this needle. Okay. And let's see. This is not exactly the exciting part I know. <laughs> there we go. And I want to get a sewing machine so that I can just sew my signatures in, man. That just sounds so much easier. Okay. So now I have, I'm going to do my second signature. So I'm going to try, yeah, I'm going to close these shut. I don't want them in my way. So I'm going to make this one big signature here. There we go. So now that's out of my way. And now I have this to work with. <coughs> so from the outside, we're going to go into the second hole. We're going to go into the second hole inside the signature. Nope, I did that wrong again. Nope, <laughs> we're going to start from the inside. That's right, okay. Inside to outside, because the tail has to be on the inside. I know, I have to learn how to... I What I need is I need a tutorial with, like, I need to buy the sewing machine that I see in a tutorial on YouTube. Because I, I have no skills with any sewing machine. So if I can't follow the tutorial along with that machine, I'm going to be lost. I already know it. I'm just going to be so lost. Ugh. Sorry, this is the difficult part of making these books, is the binding. Because sometimes it won't go straight. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So now we're in two signatures. We go down to the bottom hole, which is just outside of this here, to the outside. And we just pull it through. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're going to make this tight now because we're about to close it. Okay. So now, last thing we got to do is got to gotta make this last incision here. In here. To here. Okay, good. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to make sure everything's tight in, which I don't know why it's not. <laughs> Let's see. What am I doing? Okay, so this needs to be pulled that way. What's the problem here? Sorry, I'm having problems here, of course. Like I said, once I, if I edit this, it wouldn't look so messy. There we go. Okay, so it seems one is... <coughs> one string is longer than the other somehow. Okay, there we go. Oops, okay, there we go, we fixed it. We're back. So now we just tie these together. One should be on one side, and then this one should be on this other side. And now, one side, one way, and then should be the other way around too. Okay.
There we go. So now we have our journal done. And now it is ready <clears throat> to decorate. That's how you get it done, you guys. So I'll be back tomorrow to decorate it. I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope you saw some things that helped you uh, get your journals done faster or in a more efficient way than me. <laughs> That's what I hope you get out of this. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow with some more fun. We'll be decorating this. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. All right, you guys. Peace out.